backpack He's always there for you Zap Pack Only on YouTube Zap Pack What will he do next? Zap Pack Let's find out Cause it's on with the show Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So today, I am going to be on my computer, on reddit.com. No, get the shit out of here. I think I'm going to start doing this, um, simply because the fact that people post a lot of interesting things on Reddit about their opinions about certain games that are coming out. So I think I'm going to do a couple of these. Um, I'm going to do like a Mario Party one. Um, but today's, obviously, is about Luigi's Mansion 3 and mostly about what people want from the game. So, uh, this should be interesting, to say the least. So, uh, let's get started. Alright, so this first little thread here, or whatever it's called on Reddit, I don't know, I don't use Reddit. So let's read this little thread here. Unlike Luigi's Mansion 2, with multiple mansions, I think we're going back to just one mansion, in quotes, in Luigi's Mansion 3. Pretty sure this time around, the whole game takes place in a hotel. At the beginning of the video, you can see Mario's suitcase on the ground. You also see the hotel front desk a few times including male cubby holes. There's a dining room scene with multiple round tables. The hotel resembles Disneyland's The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror in stacked up design. Then someone commented, I think you are right. I really hope it is one big ass building, just like in the first game. Having multiple mansions was okay, but it killed some of the immersion of being in that one big creepy house like the first game had. Then someone else replied, I really liked having multiple mansions in Dark Moon personally. They were all designed very well in my opinion, and it lent a lot of variety to the game. At the same time though, having one huge mansion larger than the original could be good too. But, if we're only going to get the generic goods from Dark Moon back, there might not be enough variety in the game overall. Alright, so, this actually, this comment has a lot of substance to it, and I want to reply to each comment individually. The first comment, um, I mean, I think they kind of just more so analyze the trailer, but I do want to comment that I don't think it's just going to be a hotel. I think there's going to be more to it. I think there's going to be more the farther you go up. Um, I, but I said that multiple times. Um, I think that's kind of a given. I don't think it's going to be a hotel the whole game. Because if they're going to make a game and it's going to be one mansion, there has to be a lot in this mansion for it to be a decently length game. So I think that they're going to have a few other elements in there besides the hotel. But other than that, he's just kind of analyzing what he saw from the trailer. I'm going to skip the second comment because there's really not much in that second comment. But in the third comment here, um, with the multiple mansions thing, I wouldn't mind it either. But, like, the thing with the multiple mansions in Luigi's Mansion 2, I just, it, mansions 3 and 4, I didn't like. Um, being the old clockworks. And the, uh, mine, the, uh, snowy mine or whatever that was called. Um, but the first, the first two and the last ones, I did kind of like, design-wise. But I didn't like how they functioned. Well, the first one was fine. The first mansion I thought was fine. I, I, I genuinely liked the first mansion part of the game. But in the second game, in the second mansion, sorry, where they, um, you know, they split it in half. And you could only explore the half of the game wanted you to, and the rooms were all kind of unlocked. You just had to run through them and capture the ghosts. And start. It just didn't feel like Luigi's Mansion to me. So if they did multiple mansions, and they gave them all a good theme, and added like good variety, and made them all creepy, um, but also kept the kind of more explore, um, the explore style of the original game, Rather than, oh, go into this room in this mission and go to that room in this mission. You know, having that more exploratory feel where you're actually exploring the mansion. I think they could make that work with multiple mansions. I just don't think with Luigi's Mansion 2, I just don't think they handled it correctly. But also here, he does make a good point with the ghosts. Um, the ghosts do kind of kill the vibe of Dark Moon. Any atmosphere that that game did have was ruined by the ghosts. Because the ghosts had such bubbly out there personalities i mean like I, like I always say i don't think the game should be haunted i mean i mean let me step back i don't think the game should be too scary i don't think it should you know be too gory too nothing like that but the ghost should actually try to scare luigi rather than playing catch with the straw bulb functionality or you know like stealing parts of a pinwheel and just being like oh i'm gonna go and light it's like the silly character that i am no they should actually be genuinely kind of creepy kind of 
spooky, that kind of stuff. Alright, so this next set of comments here kind of, um, kind of goes with my last point here. Uh, this person comments, I hope they make cool ghosts like the original and not the silly kid cartoon and uninspired ones like in Dark Moon. Someone comments saying, doesn't look like that's where they're going with this. Um, as in they're not going, as in it doesn't look like they're going with the un original vibe, unfortunately. So responding to those two first comments, I think they kind of, uh, drifts off a little bit in the next two. Um, I like the ghost design of the one single ghost we see in this game. Um, Polter Pup is back, which is kind of unfortunate because that gives me PTSD of Luigi's Mansion 2. I hated Polter Pup in Luigi's Mansion 2. I only thought he was okay in the last cutscene. Um, because all Polter Pup was good for was more fetch quests in the game, and I did not like that. I did not like how Polter Pup was used in Luigi's Mansion 2. So seeing that he is in Luigi's Mansion 3, it gives me a bad feeling. It, it does good in terms that it keeps, like, like a franchise brand thing kind of going like oh you know even though there are new ghosts Polter Pup is coming back that's something that you know is returned from the you know from Luigi's Mansion 2 at least so you know if they're gonna bring back Polter Pup you know they're gonna bring back something that like I didn't like from Luigi's Mansion 2 I hope they're gonna bring back good designed ghosts from the original but like I said the ghost in Luigi's Mansion 3's trailer looks pretty promising there are a few changes I would make to that ghost design but that will be in another video so someone else uh, responded to this comment saying, well, it looks like it'll all be in a hotel, so at least it's all in one, one location. Hopefully they bring back Portrait Ghost. I'll be fine with the dumb-looking normal ones if they bring back the interesting ones. That's actually a good point. I actually never thought of that. Because um, Portrait Ghosts are such a main part of the game that, you know, if the common ghosts are few and far between, but also generic, it could work out if the, if the Portrait Ghosts were interesting enough. I'm not saying that I don't want good common ghosts, but if they weren't good, but they had good portrait ghosts to supplement it, it wouldn't be as bad. And then someone else responded here, uh, same here, adding in the generic ghosts is fine as long as they're not a focus. Uh, there were generic ghosts in the original game, it's, and this would just be more variety. But the most fun I had in the original game came from discovering unique portrait ghosts and figuring out how to capture them. So yeah, definitely... Um, definitely something that this game needs to do it, it just needs to if it's not gonna have portrait ghosts then at least add more variety in the common ghosts um okay so let's look at uh, another comment here um oh hey turns out luigi was using a different model of the poltergust uh in that smash trailer told you on one hand, I'm glad they ditched the multiple theme mansions, or at least it looks like they did. But on the other hand, they're going with the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon ghosts again. Or at least they're the ones we see in the trailer. Actually, it's not the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon ghosts. But I think he's probably referring to Polterpup um, being in this trailer. Um, which, like I said, I don't like the fact that Polterpup is in this trailer. Unless they actually like change how he's used in this game. Because if he's just there to steal keys again and to just hop from room to room, I won't like it. Maybe like once or twice. You know, if they did it, it'd be like whatever. But if that's all he's there for, then I'll be disappointed. So I'm going to skip a couple of the comments here and go to this one that says, Man, the mission system was the worst. You know what was great about Luigi's Mansion 1? The genuine sense of atmosphere and learning your way through the mansion. Doesn't work so well when you're getting constantly interrupted and teleported around. That's another fair point, right? In Luigi's Mansion 2, there's a lot of teleporting. There were those teleportation devices. And, you know, it made an all like a game where you already couldn't explore the mansion even more restrictive when you're basically, in some missions, teleported to where you already need to be rather than getting to wander around the mansion to get where you need to be. The game will just teleport you there automatically. So the teleport thing needs to go as well. I've never mentioned that, but I hate the teleport thing. I think it needs to go. Next up here. Uh, hyped up for a new Luigi game, but fuck off with these lame-ass ghost designs. The ghosts in the OG game were ten times spookier than this. Uh, and then someone replied, Glad I'm not alone. The OG game has a genuinely spooky atmosphere to it, which the 3DS game threw away. And they're continuing to do that here. Hard to get excited for these games when the original 2001 GameCube game still looks better. Honestly, it was more that a majority of them were unique instead of just lame-ass, the same lame-ass ones repeated over and over again 
with different palette swaps. Yeah, I love the first game's boss goes because it had story and there was lore. It really made you wonder what the residents of the mansion were like when they were alive. But Dark Moon just had generic ghosts and no big story. Didn't like it, never finish it. I'm afraid of Luigi's Mansion 3 being like the second game. That, th this is saying something, right? Like, I always thought that I was in the minority that thought that Dark Moon or Luigi's Mansion 2 was not as good as the original for multiple reasons. And I, th I thought that based on the review scores that critics gave it. But looking at Reddit and seeing what other people have to say, and even the comment section of my own videos, I get the sense now that I am not the only one. I am not the only one that sees Luigi's Mansion this way. And I'm so glad, because maybe it will get it into Next Level Games' head that we don't want what Dark Moon gave us. We want... I mean, yes, there are elements from Luigi's Mansion 2 that we want, but... We all want what the original had, which is more of extensive exploration, a better atmosphere, and portrait ghosts. That's all we want. That's literally all we want. Luigi's Mansion 2 is fundamentally a good game. It played well, it controlled well, it looked good, but they missed so many little things that the original had that it just sucks. Alright, so this next comment here says... I'm glad that we're getting a third Luigi's Mansion. Definitely one of my favorite Nintendo series, even if Dark Moon was disappointing. I really hope something like Portrait or Human Ghost makes a comeback. I like their boss fights and little bios, and because I miss them in Dark Moon. So Luigi's in a hotel now. Cool. I always thought a big hotel would be a good setting for a horror game in general. Hopefully 75% of the rooms won't be jammed or locked. Uh, I also hope we'll get a villain that isn't King Boo this time around. Honestly, the Switch is starting to get more appealing for me, but I still think I'm going to wait until the price goes down and or more games are added in its library. Um, so, this is actually an interesting comment. Because um, I selected these comments about a week or two ago, and I'm just getting like you know, to really look deep into them now, and I don't remember this one. Um, so this one's going to be an interesting one to comment on. So I'm going to go through it point by point in his comment. Uh, I'm glad that we're getting a third Luigi's Mansion, definitely one of my favorite Nintendo series, even if Dark Moon was disappointing, which is really a funny thing, right? Luigi's Mansion is my favorite game series, but I didn't like the second game. It's like, I think it kind of falls under what Star Fox goes through. Star Fox is one of those games that a lot of people love, but there's so many games in the series that they don't like because it changes the formula. Luigi's Mansion falls in the same category, and I think even Paper Mario also gets this treatment. Um, where the first original game, or games, was great. But then, as it got more modern, it started to decline in, um, you know, popularity. With Paper Mario, uh, Paper Mario 64 and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door were very well received. Super Paper Mario was pretty mixed. But then Paper Mario Sicker Star and Paper Mario Color Splash, I think, got mostly negative reviews. So I hope that Nintendo's really waking up with this kind of stuff. Like, their modern stuff is not doing good. And... You know, it's unfortunate, but hopefully that with Luigi's Mansion 3, they learn. Uh, I really hope something like Portrait and Human Goods make a comeback. I like their boss fights and little bios because they miss them in Dark Moon. I'm not going to talk too much about that because I've already talked about it. Uh, but this one's an interesting one, this next one. So Luigi's in a hotel now? Cool. I've always thought that a big hotel would be a good setting for a horror game in general. Hopefully 75% of the rooms won't be jammed or locked. Um... With this one, I agree. Hotel is a very good setting. I'm, I'm fine with hotel. Though, I do hope that all the doors are locked. Um, simply because of the fact that it's a hotel. Hotel rooms should be locked. And with the original Luigi's Mansion, all the doors are locked. You gotta unlock them. So I hope that we get to unlock each one of the hotel rooms. And they're not just all accessible from the start. Or at least most of them. I want maybe all except for like one to be accessible from the start. And maybe the one accessible one is Mario's, or even probably actually probably Luigi's. So, yeah, I hope that most of the doors are locked, and that as you go through each room, you get to unlock the rest of them. Because that's what, in my opinion, made the first Luigi's Mansion great. That everything was locked, but once you did some exploring, you couldn't unlock the rest of the rooms. So I think that is what I want from this game, that I think even Luigi's Mansion 2 do not have. This next one, I hope we'll get a villain that isn't King Boo this time around. Uh, that's, no, it's go, it's going to be King Boo. It, it, it's kind of like having a Mario game without Bowser as the main villain. I mean, like, a 3D Mario game without Bowser as the main villain. 
it's, you know, I think there are some exceptions to this rule. Like, I think Legend of Zelda, there are a few games where Ganon isn't the villain, but I think with Luigi's Mansion, it's it's basically a given that King Boo's going to be the villain, especially with that little hint that we saw on the title uh, screen part of the trailer. So, yeah, I think King Boo's going to be the villain, and I'm happy that King Boo's going to be the villain personally. All right, so this is the last set of comments here um, that I'm going to touch on. So someone says, hmm, so it seems like from the comments that Dark Moon wasn't that good. Anyone care to elaborate a little more on that? I was just wondering if I had to an excuse to pick it up cheap at some point down the line. So this person never played it. Um, I don't know if he played the original. He probably has because he didn't say anything about the original. Like, oh, I don't know how the original is. How's the original? So he obviously didn't play the sequel. Um, so yeah, let's read the next comment. Uh, he replied, or someone replied saying, Matter of preference, but there was multiple mansions and you could never really explore all at once. It was split up into a mission structure where once you completed it, you got booted out. It was clear from the level design that that was kind of added in later on to compensate for it being a mobile handheld. Also, all of the ghosts were kind of samey minus the world slash mansion bosses. None of them were as unique as the ones from the first game. Someone else said, I wouldn't say it's a bad game, but it lacks some things that from the original that made it stand out, like the atmosphere and the memorable enemy boss designs, and added things that I don't feel were as interesting, like the mission structure and the multiple themed mansions. It's still a decent game, but I'll take the original over it. So, yeah, that's definitely, um, that kind of all sums it up, um, in my personal opinion. Um, it's not, like, I always really rip on the game, and... Let me just say, it's not a bad game. It's not, like, fundamentally, as a game, it's not bad. It's actually quite good. But for what I want from a Luigi's Mansion game, I look at it and I'm like, that's not the Luigi's Mansion I like. Like, I could like a game, but I could not like it as what I want it to be, which is a true sequel to Luigi's Mansion. You know, expecting a game to be one thing is one thing, but... When you want it to be a true sequel to a game that you love, it's kind of like, well, duh, you expect a game that's a sequel to a game that you love to be just as good, if not better. So, when Luigi's Mansion 2 came out, obviously a lot of people were like, wow, this is a lot different than the original. And, you know, it kind of hit a few sour notes from people. So, yeah, uh, wow, this video is probably going to be hell to edit. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video based on Luigi's Mansion 3. Let me know in the comments what you think um, about, like, what you're thinking about what I've said about these comments that I read. And, yeah. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.